Hello, mixtresses and mixters. This is Mixtress Ray, and you're watching Mixtress Video. Welcome. Today, I'm just going to give you a little tour of all of my um, personal listening devices. Um, really, my very favorite one of my very favorite things in this world is being able to just go on a walk with music in your ears. Um, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a collector, although as you can see I have four iPods, um, but I really, I would love to someday have a transistor radio, which was the very first portable listening device. Um, and if you look that up online, you'll see transistor radios were just little baby radios. You could tune into FM and AM, and they had a headphone jack, traditional headphone jack, like we know today, and you could plug it in and just walk out the door, listen to the radio. And those have existed since, I believe, the 50s. But, um... My newest is this Walkman here, so I'm going to take you through each of these. They're all in order of when they came out. Um, both of these devices came out in 2004. This was 2000, I believe this was 2005 actually, because this is a second generation mini, iPod mini. So this is iPod fourth generation. This is iPod mini second generation. This is iPod Nano, second generation, and this is an iPod Nano, fourth generation. This is the only one of these items that I got new for myself. I got this back in 2009. It was my first um, Apple product. But I'm going to start with talking about this, and it came out, I believe, 1980. It's sometimes hard to source those things, but... This is a Sony Walkman WM-AF22. There you go. It's got the rewind, fast forward, and stop, and play. On the top here you can see the volume knob. Tuning for FM radio. The headphone jack. And you can change the tape type from normal to metal. So depending on what type of tape you're listening to. Over here on this side. You can plug it into a wall adapter, 3 volt. You either have it on radio mode or tape. And you can listen to AM or FM when you're on the radio. This is in good working order. The, um, the motor is kind of starting to give out. It's had the belts replaced, not by me, but who I bought it from on eBay, replaced the belt and did like a thorough cleaning on it and some other maintenance. It no longer has the clip on the back. So when I, when, with the motor going out, it's only a problem when I am actually walking with it. So, kind of a big deal. I can't, um, when I'm like jostling it around, the motor sort of speeds up and slows down. So it's not great for, um, for walking with. So I do plan to get a new Walkman at some point. It's hard to find a Walkman that doesn't have any issues, um, since most Walkmans you can find are going to be from the 80s and 90s, and being that most of them are plastic, um, you kind of run into a little bit of, you know, problems with motors wear out, belts snap, or 
the belts that are inside are usually made out of rubber, so um, there can be problems with that. There can be a lot of different problems with Walkman, so if you're looking into getting one, um, it's it can be frustrating to find one that works well, or if you're not able to fix that kind of stuff yourself, but um, there are tutorials online if you want to fix things yourself. I do have a tape here. This is a mix that I made myself with songs from Buffy the Vampire Slayer in order of appearance on the show. So we can just give you a little demonstration that this particular Walkman does work. That, um, the fact that the motor is kind of loud is another indicator that it is sort of having issues. This Walkman's not going to last forever. So there's that. Well, we'll move on now to the iPod Mini. Nope iPod 4th generation. So this guy right here. This is the top. There's me. Hi. <laughs> okay. So let's show you a little bit of the screen here. You can see this one sort of has a loud motor too. This um, this is the only iPod that I now own that has um, a hard drive, moving hard drive. The rest of them have um, they have flash drives in them. These two iPod Nanos they came with flash drives, but this. Um, I have modified myself, which you can see the video with me doing that um, on my channel, if you like. So this particular iPod, the reason that I like it is because of the font. <laughs> I think it's really cool. And it just reminds me of, um, we always had Mac computers in my school growing up, so it reminds me of that. Here we have the, um, this is my favorite iPod. This is the iPod mini second generation. You can tell that it's a second generation anytime you're looking at an iPod mini because the colors of the buttons on the click wheel will match the color of iPod.
and as you can see these kind of go together this um, little mixtape design that you see on the back of these two iPods is from a photo that I took myself um, and this was I think Jella Skins I had it made into like an iPhone case at one point um, I think that's what these are this is from So this one is my favorite because although it started off being four gigabytes, I have modified it to, um, it has a 200 gigabyte flash micro SD card in it now. So that's pretty cool. Let's do, play something from the All Hallows Eve mix since Halloween is coming up for me right now, although I might not be able to get this video up until a little after. So I wanted to show you with this particular iPod some of my accessories. I have several accessories for this, made for this particular iPod. The first I will show you came with the iPod originally. This is not the one that actually came with this particular iPod because I did get it used and I ended up getting this from somewhere else. But it did originally come with this cool little clip so you could clip it on your clothes. Apple used to, I don't know, actually, I want to say they used to give a shit about their customers. <laughs> It's possible that they just didn't yet have the ability, they didn't yet have the funds in order to get away with not giving a shit. So they would do special little things like this, like include the little clip in their um, devices. I love this iPod so much. It has um, one of the older Wolfson DACs, I believe. Um, which this one might, I don't think it does. I think these two have the, the newer DACs that aren't as, aren't as warm sounding. Um, so it just sort of sound, music just sounds a little bit better on these first two iPods. So that is the, so I was, re I'm really happy that I could take it apart and upgrade it with 200 gigabytes because I now have my entire music collection on this iPod. You know, as far as how many iPods I need in my life, this is really the only one I need. Um, this is the one that I would replace if something happened to it. And I've actually replaced it once already because I dropped my first one into the pool <laughs> the first summer that I had it. So I immediately bought another one and upgraded it. Um, so that's the clip. I'll take this off and I'll make it too much noise. We'll see if that's possible. There we go. And I also have, this is really cool, I think. It's called an air click. And it's made to go with, it can actually fit on this too. This other iPod too, it just looks a little clunkier if you plug it into that. But you just plug it in like so. And it lights up. And then you can control the music with this little remote. So I'll hit the play button and as you can see it started playing again. As you can hopefully see, it looks like it's a little bleached out so you might not be able to tell. But then you can skip a track, you can go back a track, you can turn the volume up and down and um, 
This is really useful for me because I have a little dock. Let's go ahead and pause that. I have a little dock that I put this in when it's hooked up to my stereo. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of my stereo equipment um, on a future video as well. But when I have this hooked into my dock, I just plug this little guy up into the top while it's hooked into the dock, and then while I'm sitting at my chair, I can control the music. Um, and it works very well. Um, I've never had any problems with it. Of course, it was used when I... It might not have been used when I got it, but it was, you know, super old when I got it on eBay. And you could, I've never done this, but you could if you wanted to hook your headphones up to it as well. So even if you're like walking around with it, you could still use the remote, I guess, if you wanted to, because this is before the technology of um, headphone remotes, like the little three button click remotes on headphones. You can't use that with either of these two iPods. Unfortunately, I don't think you could use it with that one either. I don't think so. Okay. So that's the air click. Just set that aside. And I will show you the final accessory, which I think I didn't bring in here. So let me go grab it really quick. And this is the case that I usually have. Oh, this guy's, this guy's laboring over here. Let's go ahead and pause him. And it's a, it's a coach leather case. Um, I kind of have an, an ethical dilemma when it comes to leather. I will only buy it if it's used or if it's being resold um, so that the company that originally um, profited from the production of the leather is not being directly profited. It's not being directly funded by me. So I did buy this on eBay. It was new in that it had never been used, but it is from 2005, I believe, when this um, iPod came out. So this is what my iPod lives in most of the time. Unless it's in its dock. That's where that's going to be most of the time, so we'll go ahead and leave that. And that's really the only, uh, the only other accessory I have to show you guys. I don't have any specific accessories for any of my other iPods. This one I will not be able to turn on to show you because it has um, the batteries completely dead on it. I bought this little guy, the second generation, 4GB iPod Nano. I bought this little guy um, maybe about six months ago or so, maybe a little bit more. And I got it for the express purposes, I, that's why I put this little sleepy pushing sticker on it. And I got it for the express purpose of, I loaded it with um, lots of ambient tracks and um, just some like low key kind of bedroom playlist because I leave it plugged into my alarm clock. Um, that has an iPod dock on it. It's like a stereo sort of alarm clock. It's a nice Yamaha. Um, I really like it. Um, alarm clock. So I just keep it plugged into there all the time because it does, um, although the battery is completely dead and it won't turn on right now at all, when it's plugged in, it's completely fine. It just, the battery's dead. So I bought it for like 10 bucks or something because it, um, yeah, since the battery is dead, I bought it for $10 and it works great for me. It's usually actually playing in my bedroom almost 24-7. Um, I use just a little insider information with me. 
you can find this as well for yourself if you would like. There's a YouTuber called Ender for Life, E-N-D-E-R, um, the numeric four, and then life. And he or she creates um, ambient, like, Star Trek sounds of varying, varying time links and encourages people to download them for free to use for whatever they want. You can actually hear the eight-hour um, track of the the next generation Star Trek um, sleeping quarters. It's like an eight hour track of just like the ambient sound in the background of the sleeping quarters on Star Trek. And I play that when I'm sleeping. And you can actually hear it in the background of my 2018 corset collection video because it was filmed in my bedroom and I just still had it on because I just, I sort of like it to be the soundtrack of my bedroom. <laughs> I just like my bedroom just sound like sleeping quarters on Star Trek. It calms me. So um, this little guy, even though it's the one that doesn't have a working battery, and it's probably the, it's the one I bought for the cheapest. It is the one that is used the most because it's playing at minimum eight hours a night, but sometimes it's playing 24 hours a day. <laughs> so this one is played all the time. And then this guy is the only iPod, like I said before, that I bought new when it came out um, or shortly after it came out. So I am the only owner that this iPod has ever had. It is a fourth generation iPod Nano. And I had, I was pretty into Lady Gaga at the time. So it is named Disco Stick. And what I mostly use this guy for these days is podcasts. Cause I, I still use this every week. And I just load all of my podcasts for the week on it. And listen to them during my cleaning job. So, there's a little sneak peek into the podcast that I listen to on a regular basis. <laughs> but yeah, mostly. So as far as, I mean, that's pretty much. And this has been, I mean, it's been in constant use since I bought it in 2009. Um, and it's just now getting to the point where it probably only plays for five to seven hours before the battery's dead. And that's really not too bad considering that it is almost 10 years old. It's nine and a half years old at this point. So the battery's still, still doing pretty well for being so old. And I, you know, it's still, I sync it at least once a week, sometimes more, to put more podcasts on it. So it um, has really been a good little guy. It's been through a couple of drops. It has had a case on it most of its life, but um, the case recently broke. So I took it off and now I'm just using it without a case. So the primary uses that I have for each of these items, right now I'm not really using this. I had to put batteries in it for this video, actually, um, because of the motor being kind of inconsistent. I don't really use this because uh, what I would like to use it for is, it's a Walkman. I'd like to take it on walks. <laughs> so this is primarily not in use and I might get rid of it. Um, so I'm not sure yet. This is also primarily not in use. Um, and it was sort of an extraneous purchase. I basically bought it because I really like the font on it, um, because it's unique and nostalgic. Um, but I keep it around as sort of a backup. So actually that's a good time to show you what I keep this in most of the time is this really cute little, it was meant to be like a wallet slash iPhone holder from the iPhone 5 size days, 
so I can't fit my current phone into it because it's too small. But it's a pretty good size. Just slide this little guy in. Too heavy on my keyboard to have both of those things stacked. So we'll just set this down. And then this one being that it has the capacity to store all my music, this one does get used quite a lot. Like I said, this one's used 24 hours a day almost, and this one is used at least um, at least a couple hours a week, usually four to eight hours a week, depending on how many cleaning jobs I have that particular week. So that's it. That is my personal listening device collection. These four, whoops, well, I just covered this one up, but you saw it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have any requests for future videos. Um, I would like to, I've been really getting into more traditional ASMR videos lately, um, and I haven't quite got up, gotten up the courage to do anything like a personal attention video or anything like that yet, um, but it's something that I would be willing to do, especially if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments um, what kind of ASMR videos you'd be interested in seeing me do for the future. And I will see you guys next time. Um, please check out, please subscribe, um, and check out my links to my PayPal and my Patreon below. Um, I'm currently I bet you guys have noticed that the shot has sort of went wonky, like slowly sliding off in this direction over the course of the video. And that's because my tripod, I wish you could see it, <laughs> it's held together with duct tape and yarn right now because I just, I had to tie it to a certain, because it's broken, <laughs> so I had to tie it together so that it would stay together to make the shot and it's still sort of sliding. Um, I want to mess with it so bad, but it's, it's broken. So it's just, it's not going to be good if I try to mess with it right now. Um, so if you would like to donate to my PayPal or become a patron on my Patreon page, um, that can fund things like for instance, a new tripod. I would also love to have um, a video camera that is a digital video camera specifically for my YouTube channel. Um, right now I use my phone if it's a digital video and I have an old camcorder from 2001 that I use if I want to make like a more retro looking video. And you can see I have a couple of those um, videos up on my channel as well. So let me know if you'd like me to use that camera more often as well. I've had it since I graduated high school and it still works and I do like using it, but it would be nice to have a digital camera camcorder that is just for use for this channel. Um, so yeah, become a patron if you'd like to support future ASMR videos. Um, you can do that at patreon.com slash mixtressray. And that link is in the description notes as well. I hope you guys have an awesome week or month or couple of weeks until next time. Bye.